Frightening moment after more than a dozen people had to be pulled from the water near Anclote Key. Several of them panicking as their fiberglass party boat started sinking yesterday. 10 News' Eric Glasser shows you what happened next from the perspective of those who came to the rescue, including a Pasco deputy who captured the whole thing on his body camera. In all their years, the Pasco County Sheriff's Office Marine Unit had never seen anything like this. Go, 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 go. Near Anclo Key, Sunday, 13 people crowded aboard a pontoon boat, swamped by rough seas. As Deputy Russ Miner and his partner approach, you can see what they saw, fear and panic in people's eyes. Four of them unable to swim, one slipping below the waterline. She went under the water and we actually lost sight of her for a little bit. And the, the water was extremely dirty and as soon as she went down, we couldn't see her. With people in the water, the boat sinking, decisions had to be made fast, prioritizing who to rescue first. People in the water without life jackets, people in the water with life jackets, people on the boat without life jackets, people on the boat with life jackets kind of set the precedence of who we need to get when. Deputies still aren't sure if there were enough life preservers on board that boat, but fortunately they say there was a charter vessel nearby and they threw enough flotation devices into the water for everyone. Had these individuals been out there much longer, had the Odyssey 2 not been able to throw to life vests, had the other captain not been there, today we would have been talking about a horrific tragedy because numerous of them were saying, I can't swim, I don't know how to swim. Deputies were also grateful to a good Samaritan who pulled three people into his own boat, FWC and the Coast Guard also assisting. I got you. I can. I bet you can. A record week for the Pasco Marine Unit, rescuing 17 people in separate incidents. You're good. You're good. This one admittedly ending far better than they ever expected. One more. Having 13 people in the water, if you get one person that goes in the water and you get them out, it's, it's a good day, but... To do it 13 times without anyone seriously injured is a miracle. They they obviously had someone watching out for them. All right, and get this. The Sheriff's Office Marine Unit involved in that rescue had just come from a ceremony a few minutes earlier called the Blessing of the Ships. That's an annual prayer service held around this time each year as the weather gets warmer and the boating season gets underway.